guys welcome back so once again it's time for me to open up my monthly boxy charm subscription this one is for the month of april okay mine seems a little late this month i don't know i guess it's not that late but sometimes they get it to you real quick in the month but i've been seeing a lot of unboxings so i feel like i done got mine late this month <laughs> but anyway i digress this is the April Boxy Charm, and I decided I wanted to go ahead and do a try on today, so that's why I don't have any eyeshadow on because y'all know it's an eyeshadow palette in this mug, okay? So I'm gonna do a try on, but before I get started with that, let me go ahead and just show you guys what now, I got. This month, the card says Peace, Love, and Boxy. It has some cute little cacti on there, <laughs> kind of like desert themed, I guess, with the whole festival theme of this box. I know um, because of, I don't know if it's Coachella or whatever other festivals there are coming up or I don't even know. Have they passed already? Like I said, I don't go to festivals, so I don't know. But I know this box is festival themed, so that's probably why it has the desert cacti and all that stuff on here. But anywho, I have version 6 of the box, just in case you're curious. And, of course, on the back of the card, it lists all of the items that I have and the pricing and information. So, I'm just going to run through them real quick since we're going to do a try on of all this stuff. Okay, so the first item I have here is a eye pencil from Body Bodyography. And this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and give you a closer look. So mine, it looks like it's called Bali Bronze, a bronze colored eye pencil. And let's see what it says about this. Okay, so for this Bodyography eye pencil, it retails for $14. It says it's a super smooth coconut oil infused eye pencil, glides on without dragging at the delicate skin around the eyes. Okay, so now I have watched a few videos, unboxings and the such of this BoxyCharm and I've seen quite a few people get this eye pencil or a different variation of it and I haven't seen anybody actually be happy about the quality of this pencil when they used it either it didn't show up that well or they just really didn't care for it so nobody was just overwhelmed by it I'll say maybe some people liked it but the overall opinion on this pencil that I've seen has been that it doesn't really show up so I'm not going to use this pencil for that very reason. I'd rather give it away. I don't want to use it because I don't really like gold or bronze eyeliner anyway. Okay, next item is a lip product. And this is from Appeal. It is a holographic lip gloss. So this is what it looks like. Let me go ahead and show you what the packaging looks like up close very very pretty and you guys probably don't know this about me but I actually love holographic lip glosses I have a ton of them and I typically take them out around this time springtime I grab them because this is perfect time for holographic lip glosses so let's see what it says it says appeal cosmetics holographic lip gloss delivers intense holographic shine to your lips with the Appeal Cosmetic Exclusive Launch. Oh, okay. The holographic lip gloss works well alone or on top of your favorite lippy. So this retails for $21. I'm pretty sure I'll put it on top of a lippy today with this look. I'm really excited to see how it looks. Like I said, I love holographic lip glosses. Next, we have a Artist Couture loose powder highlighter this is what the box looks like diamond glow powder and it looks like this is a full size i have a few of these and this is about the size that they are i think and this is really really cool to get i got the color purple dream so i'm excited about this too because I am not afraid of colored highlighters. A lot of people kind of shy away from them. I don't care if it's blue, purple, green. I will try it out and see how it looks. Because a lot of times the cover sh color shift is very slight. So let's see what it says about this. It says, Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. All natural, vegan, and cruelty free. Loose powder highlight can be used on the eyes, lips, face, and body. Very versatile formula, highly pigmented, suited for all skin tones. Okay, retails for $27. Okay, so that is really cool. 
excited to try this out today with this festival look next we have some brushes of course you know boxycharm has been giving out a lot of brushes a lot of eyeshadow palettes which i think is really really cool because who can't use extra brushes and you know we love eyeshadow palettes so this month we got a set of three luxie brushes and this set includes a large shader a small shader and a small contouring brush now a lot of times i try not to use the brushes that i get in my boxes just because of the fact that i like to give them away because sometimes or a lot of times it's not brushes that i really like the shape of or i don't know i'm just kind of particular about the brushes that i use when i do my makeup so a lot of times I'll give my brushes away, but since today we're doing a try on, I'm going to use these brushes if I can get them out of this freaking pack. <laughs> and they're really pretty. They're this really pretty kind of pink ombre look, if I can hold them, okay. So this is what, <laughs> get it together Camille. So this is what these brushes look like. As you can see, they're really pretty pink have a nice ombre kind of effect on the bottom of the brush gradiating into an orange color but they're very very pretty i like them i love pink brushes so yeah so there's a larger brush and then there's like a flat i have a flat brush here and then i have a blending brush so i will be using these i do i went ahead and just stuck all of my boxy charm and ipsy brushes in this jar so these are the brushes i'm going to be using today the ones that i actually kept <laughs> and lastly let's go ahead and take a look at this eyeshadow palette okay so this is the pure festival eyeshadow palette well it's pressed pigments so it's a pressed pigment palette 12 pan but this packaging is really cool i like the sunglasses i like the ferris wheel the palm trees of course because you know i'm a cali girl so i really like it it's like matte but the sunglasses are shiny very bomb very bomb and on the back it actually has the eyeshadow colors what they look like, the names, and all of that. I actually really like Pure. I have a few things from them. Uh, eyeshadow palette, the face spray. I really love the face mist. I got that last year at BeautyCon, and it's gone now. So hopefully they're there again, and I can re-up if they have it on sale again. But yeah, I actually really like Pure. So the palette looks just like the box except on the back it doesn't have the shadows and stuff you know it just has a nice picture and festival of course on it. it has a mirror in here let me take this plastic off and if you've seen any of these videos i know you have seen these shadows a million times but look at this palette you guys gorgeous there's mattes some gorgeous shimmers it looks like six shimmers four mattes and two pressed glitters just from what I can see off the top of my head but this puppy is really really pretty oh my goodness it's gorgeous okay so let me just do some quick swatches for you guys before we jump into this look also inside the box they gave us a sample of pure get a grip eyeshadow primer it looks like came in this little sample pack so I might actually test this out today as well guys see that glitter whoa that is pretty very very pretty so this is what the whole palette looks like very very pretty sorry about the crazy swatches you guys <laughs> but it is gorgeous and those glitters are really really pretty I cannot wait to put them on my eyes and just a pro tip for you guys when you're using glitter on your eyes and for your makeup an easy way to get a large portion of the glitter off of your eye before you wipe off all of your makeup is to use tape <laughs> i mean it works miracles just take some tape place it on your eyelid pat it down a little bit and it will pull away a good portion of that glitter i actually go in with the tape a few times until i get all of the glitter off before I wash the rest of my makeup off. So just a little pro tip for you, okay? 
Okay, so I'm going to start off with this pure Get A Grip eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to open up this sample and place it all over my eyes. So that's the full amount that I got out of the packet. So, yeah, it feels kind of tacky, kind of like it stays a little wet, if you know what I mean, which I personally don't really care for. You guys know I love my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, so I don't really like a wet or tacky eyeshadow primer base, but we gonna work with it today. I'm assuming it's supposed to work with their palette. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna use some of my e.l.f. Translucent Powder to set that primer, cause Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't like tacky. <laughs> I don't like tacky, so yeah, I'm gonna set my primer. It might make the shadow not pop as much as somebody else's, but I don't like having issues. Okay, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the pink shade in here, which is Wild Child. So yeah, I'm gonna take that pink and place that in my crease. I'm just packing this into my crease so I can get the maximum pigment since I did set that primer. So this pink is pretty and very, very nicely pigmented. So this brush is very nice for packing on color. It's working very nice in the crease area to pack this color down. Okay, so now I'm going to go into this lighter shade here, which is Epic, and I'm going to use that to kind of blend out the upper portion of that pink. So this color is not really showing up that well on me at all. And I don't know if you can see there's fallout right here from that shadow. So hopefully that will come off easily. Now, I've seen some more Fair Skin Beauties um, using this palette, and that color really showed up very bold and orange for them. But on me, honestly, I think that it probably would be brighter if I had used my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot as opposed to the Pure Eyeshadow Primer. Because for my skin tone, this color is not showing up at all. But it is blending out that pink very nicely. Okay, so now that I have that pink blended out nicely, I want to take this darker shade here, this dark brown, and smoke out my outer corner. And that shade is called All Night. <laughs> and I don't have a Luxie brush that is small enough for me to get as close into the crease as I want, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. small, uh, detail crease brush. These brushes are bomb, you guys, for really getting into small areas and just trying to do detail work. These are really nice. They're like three bucks. And I'm staying kind of low on my lid because I don't want to cover up that pink. Now I'm going in with just a little bit more of that pink because I really don't want to lose that brightness right there in my crease. And just going back in with that lighter shade to blend out that upper portion. So now that I have those matte shades down, I want to go in and play around with a shimmer and a glitter. So I want to take this gold right here and place that on my lid before the glitter. get too much transfer on my upper lid since I didn't cut my crease but as you can see my eyes are very hooded so if you're familiar with how I do my makeup you know that I don't use my finger to put on shimmer shadows so I would typically use a brush so that shadow is pretty it's not an insane amount of glisten and glimmer but it's pretty 
Now I wanna play around with one of these glitters and I'm kinda leaning towards this one here. This one is really pretty. And that one is called Fireworks. So I'm gonna use some of my NYX glitter primer before I go in with this glitter shadow. take the same brush that I used for the shimmer shadow and use that for the glitter shade. I know I'm gonna have glitter everywhere y'all. Okay you guys so that's as good as it gets with the glitter. That's about as close as I'm going to get with getting these eyes to look somewhat similar. I'm going to go ahead, take some of that pink and brown. No, you know what? I wanna use the purple. Okay, so I'm going to take this dark brown shade here, smoke out my lower lash line, add a little bit of this purple close to my lower lash line, and I'm going to do eyeliner and mascara, and then we'll move on to the highlighter. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did go a little ham with the glitter. <laughs> You're probably like, why did you put the shimmer down if you're just gonna cover it with glitter? I don't know, I just went ham with the glitter. But sometimes it's good to have a shimmer under your glitter because as glitter falls, you don't want to see those spaces of skin and shadow. So if you do have a shimmer under your glitter, sometimes it kind of creates a nice shift and you also have something under your glitter if it starts to fall off your eyes don't look too crazy. So anyway, got that done. I really like that purple on my lower lash line, but let's go ahead and move on to this highlighter, the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Highlighter. And this one, like I said, is Purple Dream. So we're gonna see how this looks on me, you guys. Okay, so you guys will never guess how long it took me to take the freaking plastic off of this artist couture highlighter on the inside there's a little plastic sheet in there covering the holes <laughs> i about threw this thing up against the wall but i finally got it off so i just put a little bit took a little bit out it looks kind of like a goldy peach color so i'm really curious to see how the purple is going to show so i'm actually just going to take one of my older luxie brushes because the one that came in the box today. It's a little round and fat and I'm not using that for highlight. This one is actually too big for highlight, but since I'm using my BoxyCharm brushes, this is what I'm using today. So I'm kind of scared to. Okay, yeah, it's purple. <laughs> it's purple. Ooh, yeah. Y'all see that purple shift in there? Yeah, it's definitely purple. I don't know about everyday work appropriate, but it's definitely festival appropriate, okay? So I must say this highlighter is very pretty, you guys. I like it. A teeny tiny, a few specks goes a long way, and I will definitely be using this during the spring because I love it. I love me. Uh, holographic shift. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off my lips so we can play with the lip gloss. Okay, I feel like I wanna do a purple kind of lip liner, maybe a peach center, and then go over it with this Appeal holographic lip gloss and see how that looks. Y'all know I ain't scared of no crazy combinations, so. And plus it's festival, okay? This is a festival box, so we about to have a festival face, okay? <laughs> so now I'm gonna go over it with this holographic lip gloss and see what happens. It's a very small applicator. I hate when the applicators are so small you have to go in 50 times. I don't know why they do that. Yeah, it's like not even giving me any product. Ooh. 
Well, on top of these lip colors, it just looks like a lip gloss. Maybe I should have just put it on by itself, but I already, I don't like this applicator. I mean, it's super duper tiny, as you guys saw. I had to go in like a million times just to get a drop of product, so ain't nobody got time for that, okay? I don't like that. As far as the gloss itself, it looks really pretty, but it just looks like a regular gloss on top of this lipstick. Let me see if I swatch it, what it'll look like without lipstick under it so so that's what it's looking like by itself just kind of has like a pink shift to it but basically it just looks like a regular gloss so if you get this in your box and you know you're afraid of it because you think it's gonna look crazy it really doesn't it just looks like a gloss to me and even if you wear it alone it just has like a pink shift to it so it's pretty it's just not mad holographic like i thought it was gonna be i love a holographic lip gloss so i kind of wish it was <laughs> but it's all good it's all so good. anyways you guys my overall thoughts on this box i don't even know if i told you the pricing for this palette i was so excited to swatch it i don't think i did so this pure the complexion authority festival palette retails for $36 and I like this palette I think it's cute do I think it'll be one of my favorites probably not probably not I mean the colors are cute it creates a cute look the glitters are really nice to have but it's a cute palette I like the packaging actually more than the palette itself so I like that but for 36 bucks that's pretty cool okay now the brush set I did go ahead and use two of these I didn't use the big one but the brush set retails for $28 so that's not a bad value at all and they worked out just fine just fine the artist couture diamond glow powder I like it I like it a lot some people really gay gay some people might not feel the purple highlighter but i ain't mad at it i like it especially with this festival look okay so this retails for 27 dollars the holographic lip gloss i already gave you my thoughts on this this retails for 21 dollars no way in the world i can get a better gloss than this from ross for 4.99 so that's way more holographic so no i don't think so it's cute or whatever <laughs> and then lastly the eye pencil of course you guys know where did i stick it i don't even know where i stuck that thing oh here it is yeah the eye pencil from Bodyography retails for $14. Uh, no ma'am, I would pick this up, something just like it. From the Beauty Supply for Adala, okay, but I don't really like these colors anyway for eyeliners. So, not gonna use it. This is going in a giveaway, but it's cute or whatever. So, the box this month, I like it. I think it was a good box. The brushes and the palette and the highlighter alone made it worth well over the cost of the box which is $21 a month you know what mine went up to like $22.85 so either they raised the price or they raised my shipping or something I don't know but I got charged a little bit more this month so I'm gonna have to look into that <laughs> but anyway that is it for this try on you guys I don't see any glitter fallout thus far I mean y'all know I got glitter all over the place all over my eyes but I don't see any glitter fall out on my face so I'm happy about so that. So that's it you guys for this BoxyCharm April try on video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch me play in some makeup okay. I don't know what I'm gonna get next month but if I can play in it I'll probably play in it too. So once again thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!